Shalom, shalom, shalom to the hopefully elect of Israel. I want to start off and give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us this truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere. And you hopefully elect scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. Around your fellow servant, Malakia. All right, coming in with another lesson today. Uh, this lesson is going to be going into um, not knowing the day nor hour, okay, when our Lord, Yahweh Shai, when he returns back, okay? Uh, this is why, you know, it's very important for us to always be on our watch, for us to always be diligent, you know, for us to always watch, all right, and hastening the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, the great day and terrible day of the Lord is when he returns back, all right, to bring judgment on the earth, okay? So as we see the prophecies and all these things are uh, uh, kicking into high gear, all right, what manner of persons are we to be? As the scripture says in the book of Second Peter chapter 3, okay, in all holy conversation, okay, this is the time for us to walk that straight line all right because we're getting ready because we're already in this in that straight gate but that straight gate that we're in that path of difficulty it's going to get even harder than what it is right now all right but in the meantime we got to always also okay keep watch and stay diligent all right within this uh ministry all right so i'm gonna get straight to the point it's the book of matthew chapter 24 verse 36 it says but of that day and hour knoweth no man no not the angels of heaven but my father only okay so it's going to be yahweh that's going to make the decree to send his son okay he knows the day he knows the hour he knows the minutes the seconds okay when yahweh Shai is going to touch down here on this earth he knows the day when he's going to tell him when to come Okay, no one knows the day that Yahweh Shai is going to return back, all right, with the angels, all right, and to come back and to redeem the elect, okay? Shows you that this is Yahweh, all right, this is his movie, okay? It says, we read it again, verse 36, but of the day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. So it's only Yahweh that knows Okay, jumping down to verse 42. Watch, therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. We don't know. This is why we got to always stay on our P's and Q's, always being diligent, always uh, watching. It says, but know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, all right, that watch going into, you know, this time, okay, the hour. OK, when the thief would come, it says he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. OK. If the good man of that house had known, he would have watched for the thief. All right. But it's going to be a lot of people who's not watching. OK, it's only going to be the elect that's going to be watching and adhering unto the prophecies we know. OK, by the measurement of the prophecies that Yahweh Shai is close. It says, therefore, be ye also ready for in such an hour as ye think not the son of man cometh. All right. So we think that the Lord may not. Hey, as we see these prophecies kick into high gear, the scripture says, look up for your redemption draweth nigh. All right. Because it, it could be at any second that the Lord returns back. All right. It says, who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his Lord have made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season? Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. All right. That's why it's an importance for us to do this work. It's an importance for us to, to serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. All in sincerity and in truth. All right, speaking to myself first and foremost, okay? We want to be found doing this work, still being diligent, still keeping the faith, all the way till we see Yahweh Shai break open these clouds, 
okay, and enter into this realm, okay? Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing, okay? We're looking to, uh, to, to, to receive salvation, okay, to, get, to enter into eternal life, okay? The Lord giving us power, okay, to rule over these nations, okay? It says, Verily I say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all his goods, but... And if that evil servant shall say in his heart, my Lord delayeth this coming, because we got a lot of people doing that. They don't see the prophecies really going on because they're not watching. They stop believing. Oh, the Lord ain't going to, he'll come back in five years, ten years. This their mindset. It says, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants and to eat and drink with the drunken. The Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him and in an hour that he is not aware of. That's why scripture says, put not all from day to day. Okay. You do it, you're going to get caught with your pants down. It says, and, sh and shall cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. See, it's going to be a lot of weeping and gnashing of teeth, man. Let me go ahead and get this right quick. It's the book of Mark chapter 13. Let me get straight to the point. It says, we're going to read over again. I believe it was, uh, yeah, here it is. Give it a little bit more uh, understanding. Verse 33 Take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. All right, to elaborate more on it. We don't know when the time is. For the Son of Man is a man taking a far journey, who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to every man his work, and commanded the porter to watch. Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh at even or at midnight, or at the cock crowing, or in the morning, lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. You see, there's not a time for you to be sleeping. It's the time to be awake, all right? It's so many things that's happening right now. It says, and what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch, okay? And that's the basis of the lesson, all right? We got to always constantly watch, all right, because we don't know when the day is, when the hour is, all right, that our Lord returns back. We want to be found, okay, to be doing, all right, the things of what Yahweh Bashim Yahushai has told us to do. And when he returns back, it's not going to be a surprise to us. We know that he's coming back, all right? We know that he's getting ready to come and to enter into this realm and to bring judgment. We want to be the ones accounted worthy to escape, all right, the judgment. That he's about to bring upon this earth. All right. So that's why we got to always pray. And we got to always watch. Okay. Especially being more diligent in these prophecies. And looking at everything that's happening. All right. Because these things are speeding up more and more. The time is speeding up. All right. People are noticing. Okay. The MOTB is here. So, so many different things is happening. World War Three is on the rise. So we know that our Lord Yahweh Shai is returning back very soon. So it's the time to keep watch, okay? Always and continually, all right? So I pray this lesson was well edifying to you, Akim and Akwathim. I want to give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who are taught us this truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere and you hope for your let. Scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. Alright, I'm your fellow servant, Malakia. Shalom.